Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Home Built Workshop. I'm Jeff Baker. If you've noticed, we haven't had a video in a couple of weeks, and that's because right in the middle of this project, our camera died. This project, it seems like it's been one thing after another. We've had a lot of struggles and a lot of different troubles with it. Uh, but what we're gonna build is this computer monitor stand. So we started out ripping the boards down on the table saw. Well, no sooner did we get one board ripped, and it started to rain. Well, as luck would have it, as soon as I finished ripping that board, it started raining. It doesn't look like it's going to let up, so uh, we're just going to try to do this inside the shop. We don't have a lot of room in here at all, so we're going to try to work around some things and see if we can't finish this thing up. We started cutting our boards down to size on the table saw inside, and then our camera quit. So what we're going to do for this episode is we're just going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you a little bit about the construction, the design, and then I'll share the plan with you. There's going to be a link to the plan right below in the description box for this video. So here we are out in the shop and we're going to, let's just take a little closer look at this monitor stand. So first thing you'll notice probably is the shape. Um, the reason I, it's shaped like that is because I wanted it to be able to sit at the edge of the desk and actually hang over the back edge of the desk a little bit because I want the monitor to be back as far as it can possibly go to give me the most room in the front. So I, th I thought that I could keep a narrow profile on the edges and bow it out in the middle to give me just a little bit more room and it actually does hang over the back of the desk a little bit. The construction, it's made out of maple and oak and it's all glued together. I didn't use any fasteners for this job. So basically, I cut out all the pieces to length, and glued up the side panels, and glued up the top panel, and then on the router table, I cut a 3 8 inch rabbit in the side, and that's that was to give me a little bit more gluing surface on the side, just to make that joint a little bit stronger. Once everything was dried, I took it out of the clamps, sanded it first with 180, then down to 220, wiped off all the dust, and then. Uh, Finished it with a couple of coats of this Danish oil. I kind of like this Danish oil. It, it, it's really easy to work with. Um, you just wipe on a, a good coat, give another coat after about 30 minutes or so, and uh, let it dry for 72 hours, and then you can spray it with a, a clear polyurethane or whatever kind of clear you finish you want to put over it. So that was it. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, a couple things I might have done a little bit different. I think I think it would have been better if I'd have recessed this up here to kind of match this curve to actually give me a couple of more feet. Uh, you know, to kind of the feet would be more defined. Um, I don't think it's a big deal. I did have to spend a few minutes with a file uh, and a rasp because I I think I had a little bit of warping uh, after everything dried because it did wobble a little bit, but it wasn't really a major deal. Um, so yeah, that's the computer monitor stand. So thanks for watching this episode of Home Built Workshop. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can also follow on Twitter at Home Built Shop. Thanks for watching.